Oh, brothers and sisters, once again, we're in this very important document that we know as the Queen of Sheba and her only son, Aminulik, the Queen of Sheba and only son, Aminulik, this very, very important um, document right here. And there's a portion here that I was reading. I thought it would be um, pretty interesting. This is getting a, um, a good close-up of it. This is our publishing of this document, and we hope to have the good is the good is texted out soon. So we were in this particular book, and we was at um, at chapter. I think it was what was it? One o one o three, one o four, or was it? Um, let's see if we can find this page again. Okay, I think this is in section prophecy concerning uh, Christ. Okay, prophecy concerning Christ. It was talking about um, the beginning. And we thought this was um, fairly, fairly interesting here, if we can find it now. I was talking about in the beginning. We were just reading it before we had got a... Before we had got a call, um, okay. But we need to start to study, study this particular. Okay, here it goes right here. Yeah, we need to start to study this particular um, document. Not just getting copies of it, but also to study this particular document. So here this is concerning, it says, concerning the beginning, concerning the beginning, right? And it says, um, as David prophesied by the mouth of the Holy Spirit, saying, with thee was the headship on the day of might, right? With thee was the headship on the day of might, right? And then down here it has a footnote which says, um, uh, Psalm 10 and 3, Psalm 10 and 3, so that's a quote from that particular psalm. Now it says, now what do these words, day of might, mean? For it was not the day when Christ, the word of the Father, or is it not, is it not the day whereon Christ, the word of the Father, was speaking about the Moshiach, the word of the Kav, of the Father, the Debar of the Father, Devar in that sense, created heaven and earth. For Moses saith in the beginning of the book, in the beginning God created heaven and earth. Now that's from Genesis right there. So it says to understand then, in the beginning, this phrase right here, in the beginning, meaneth in Christ. The interpretation of a beginning, it says, is Christ. So now this is the part that we want to focus on right here. This, the, these first, um, this first portion of the paragraph. And it's in chapter 102 of the Kibra Neges concerning the beginning, concerning the beginning. So it's stating here, according to the Kibra Neges, that the interpretation of the first words of the Bible, in the beginning, it actually meaneth in Christ. And the interpretation of beginning is Christ. So in Christ, now let's read the, the, the quote in Genesis, in Christ, God, Elohim, made the heaven and earth. This is very interesting because if we look at Revelation, Revelation 3 and 4, Christ is speaking in Revelation. He says that I am the Amen. I am the Amen, and he speaks that he is the, the, the firstborn of the creation of God. He is the firstborn, the faithful, and the true witness the beginning, he says, of the creation of God. So according to Revelation, we have the revelation that 
Christ is is the Amen speaking in Revelation. Now, this gives a whole new interpretation to so-called Egyptology, if we would put it together from an Ethiopic perspective. That means that in Amen, right, in the Amen, did God, or Elohim, made the Shemaim, the et ha'aret, he made the heaven and the earth. So in the beginning, meaneth in Christ, the Moshi, or the Moshiach, and the interpretation now of beginning. Now, what is beginning in the Hebrew? Beginning in the Hebrew is Be-ra-shit. Some say shit, Be-ra-shit, Be-ra-shet, Be-ra-shet, or Be-ra-sit. We would say Be-ra-sit, and it has the shet, and also the shet or shet part and the set and the suit, as in the suit on, when we go back to the mystery of the Egyptians or the wisdom that our brother Moshe, who wrote this book, because it was Moses who saith in the beginning of the book, in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. So this is a interesting study that we can put together from an Ethiopic perspective, but this chapter right here is very illuminating. Um, chapter 102 in the Kubra Negas, because it's concerning, it's concerning the beginning, concerning the beginning. So if we want to know what the end is, we need to understand the beginning. So the interpretation of beginning is Christos, is Christ. Now, when we couple that with a good understanding of the Johannes Arai, uh, the vision of Yah's grace, or the, the Arai of Johannes, the first thing we will understand in chapter 3, verse 14, that is Christ who's speaking. The red letter Bibles kind of show that, demonstrate that boldly by the red letters. So if you have a red letter Bible, you will see it in red letters in um Revelation 3 and uh, 14, that is Christ speaking who's identifying himself as the Amen. Now, in ancient Egypt, the Amen was the hidden one. Now, the prophet, I think it's Isaiah, says, oh, you are a God who hides, in a sense, who hides yourself. You're a God who hides yourself. So this mystery we have from the very beginning concerning Christos and this document that we... Um, know of as the Queen of Sheba and her only son, Minulik, it gives some very important clues and, and highlights. It's a, it's a very, very important book, and we will encourage ones to either obtain a copy of it. Our copy is now available, but there's other copies out there which is free. But if ones can, please do get a copy of the Queen of Sheba and her only son, Minulik as it's a very, very important book, being the history of the departure of God and his Ark of the Covenant from Jerusalem, Jerusalem, to Ethiopia, and the establishment of the religion of the Hebrews and the Solomonic line of kings, or the Davidic line of kings, known as the Solomonic line of kings in that country. And this is a complete translation of the Kibra Negas with Introduction by Sir E.A. Wallace Budge, M.A.L. Liter literate degree. Now, we also give a new preface to this, and um, this is a new edition that is published by the Lion of Judah Society. So, brothers and sisters, if you can, get a copy, and um, most of all, study and show yourself approved. So, Salantana, Tina, East Shalom, Arastafari.